everybody, this is Timo from China Mobile Mac and welcome to the review of the Asus Zenfone 5. At first I want to show you the boxing and uh, the packaging and the um, all components that are inside the box that you get. That first the box itself. Here is a picture of the device. It's quite small and uh, yeah, looks good, it's well designed, not cheap and here on the side, the first gimmick you see is a few features of the device, Bluetooth 4, 3G and everything and this is, looks looks quite good, it's printed on the inside package, so this is very, very nice. On the back you have a few numbers and serial numbers and everything of the device, here are some informations, all those icons of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and everything and the rest of the sites are clear. Intel inside it has an Intel chip. Yeah, that's all. So let's open the package. It's more interesting than what's on the outside. What you first see is the device itself. So take it out. We're gonna take a look at this later. If we open the box, down there at first there's some papers. I don't know what they are really for, so don't use SIM adapters. How to open it? Here, quick installation guide in Chinese, can't read it. And another guide in Chinese, which I don't know what is it good for. The important things are the US wall block. If you come from the US or other countries that use this plug, it's good. <laughs> For me from Germany, it's not that good. And the USB micro cable. So everything standard, nothing special. Not even headphones or screen protector, which is really sad. Um, well, I think they could, there's even more space. They could, um, yeah, take some goodies for us inside the box, but I think Asus concentrated more on the device itself and let's take a look if it's uh, worth buying anyway. The outside of the device at first uh, we have here the white edition. You can buy the back cover in white, black, red, purple, many different colors. Um, they look quite good. The front um, it's covered with Gorilla Glass, everything's black, nice. On the top is the Asus logo and the speaker. Uh, on the lower end we have this um, design thing here. It's a metal application with a little structure, little cir circles that are described here. And the sensor touch buttons which are illuminated so they look very good from the sides. The left side is um, yeah, clear, except of this hole. It's used to take off the back cover. On the right side we have the power button and the volume switch. Both are have a metallic look and they also have this structure like this bottom thing here. On the bottom we have a microphone and micro USB port and on the top the headphone jack and a second microphone. Take a look at the back. So already here we have the camera, flash, single LED flash, Asus logo, Intel inside sticker, which is <laughs> sticked on very good. And those holes are for the speakers. All in all, the Sandphone 5 looks really good. It lays on the table and it, it's nice and um, Leaky. The only thing is, so the bag is a little, yeah, slippy. If you have wet fingers, it slips through your fingers, and the device is not that heavy, so you have to be careful if you use it with one hand, and not slips through your fingers. On the technical side of the design, we can open the back cover for a quick look at this at the inside of the device. Yeah, somehow inside it's not really inside. But you will see it yourself. So 
no removable uh, battery, only SIM slots here, micro SD slot here. Both are for micro SIMs, both support 3G networks. Here are the camera. So there's nothing else um, beneath the back cover. Uh, you can exchange it. I think you can buy it in different colors uh, separately. And if you place it on the back again, you can see that uh, nothing here makes noises if you slip in everything. It don't make noises. It looks everything good and fine and it works fine together. It's good designed and, and yeah, well built. So let's take a look at the display. As I already mentioned it has 5 inch so the actual setting is in the middle of the brightness bar. It has not a full HD display but 720p and even if you take a close look you can't see single pixels if the camera can focus. Yes. So the letters don't look um, blurred or something. They are all really sharp. The display is really good. It has nice colors. They are bright and well defined. Everything is sharp. You have a high pixel density of about um, 330 pixels per inch I think. Um, and this is a quite good uh, number compared to a full HD display. This is not really less but it uh, consumes less power and it has a better uh, performance. So this is a really good display. As I already mentioned at the beginning it's um, covered with Gorilla Glass 3 and one really nice thing, nice thing <laughs> about the display is it's um, um, I forgot the word. So it has th something on it that you don't see fingertips that much. So if you look at this it's a little bit uh, dirty but if I go with it about my trousers just up and down a little bit and then you can see everything's clear and there are no more fingertips just from one two slides about my trousers. And if you go with your finger again, so it's hard to make it dirty. Everything looks nice and if you put it back into your um, trousers and take it out later, then everything's clean again. This is really great and I think uh, more companies should use such uh, display. This is a really great feature. So from the coating of the screen, that's the word I searched for um, a few seconds ago to the performance of the device. First a few facts, it's uh, powered by an Intel SoC, it's uh, Atom Z2580, it has 2 GHz and uh, 2 cores, it's a dual core uh, CPU, Power VR GPU and it has 2 GB of RAM, so memory. There is a model with 2 GB memory and a model with 1 GB memory that's the earlier one. We have here the 2 gig memory model so you have to um, remember this if you watch this performance um, yeah, review. If you take a look at the system everything's nice fast, opens fast, close fast and you don't have problems, you don't have to wait for your device. And this is very nice. Benchmark results at first and two, two. So, force closes. It's the first time that this one happened. So, it always loses my results. I'm going to do this later and show you soon. Take a first look at 3D Mark. Here are the results. So the ISOM Unlimited uh, resulted in 7,235 points. Ice Storm Extreme 4,601. Ice Storm Standard 720p 8,011 points. And take a look at Milamo. 
initializing here. So 1820 in browser test, 1129 multicore, and 900 points in the metal test, which are really uh, good results too. And um, yeah, I was really surprised about the good benchmark results of this device. So now even the Antutu result is available. Here we have 22,444 points. Device info, so that you can take a quick look. Intel Atom 25A, as I already mentioned, at 2 GHz. 720 times 1080 display. 2 gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage, Power VR GPU, and 320 dpi pixel density. So, yeah, that's the Asus Sandphone 5. And so, you have a quick overview about it. And if you're interested, Animally 2 result 324,939 points. So the graphics benchmark. So these are all really good these results. Um, so I didn't show you the ranking here. It's between the HTC One and then Galaxy Note 2 and the N22 benchmark if you want to see this bar chart.
So welcome to the next chapter media playback. First I want to uh, show you a song and with that the internal speakers. I prepared something here. The speakers, first I'm gonna tell you something about them, are quite good. They don't have that much bass but it's, it's always with phone speakers. But they have a clear sound and there's no overdriving or something else and also the headphone jack has a good output it has a high quality it's uh, not that loud so it doesn't have much power but it sounds good and it has a good equalizer and the speakers um, I'm going to show you now so it's now it's maximum volume, it's good to show um, a clip or a short video to your friends or show them a song or even watch a, a short film or something else. So the speakers are quite good and uh, they are usable and there are where's the ones on the market and the short YouTube video I uh, hope it's full HD no no it's HD quality that's to load I think so it's Big Bad Bunny I think some of you know it Gonna skip a bit. So everything's clear, fluent, and I don't have problem with the videos even on YouTube, as you saw. So one of the last points, it's going to the end, is reception quality. As you see here, GSM reception is always good. You can always um, make phone calls, that's no problem. Um, the problem is that phone calls have somehow a bad quality, in, uh, talking of sound quality, but it's okay. You can always understand everything and it's, um, you don't have, um, you don't miss any words or something. But uh, the three G reception is um, a little bit bad. Some points where you have three G with other devices um, are only equipped with uh, GPRS, and that's really annoying. If you know you can have fast internet, but your device does not support it here, and uh, Wi-Fi is not that good. Two here, I maximum have two bars, um, but being downstairs, right beneath the router, right beside the router, you only have three or four bars, and that's really sad. And uh, yeah, that's the problem. You have only low signal. You always have signal, but it's low, and sometimes it's not often, but sometimes you lose the signal. That's annoying too and really sad. Bluetooth quality is okay. It's um, standard. You can connect very fast if you're in the same room. If you have a few walls between you and the receiver then um, it's not working of course. But if you are outside then you can go away from this receiver a few meters anyway. Uh, GPS uh, if you want, oh no, I don't have it installed. GPS talking about this one. Um, it's okay if you are outside, but 
inside it's really sad you don't get any fixes even sitting in front of a window but outside you have in a few seconds you always get 10 to 12 uh, satellite all in all you normally use GPS outside so that's no problem. The next, th next uh, thing to talk about uh, the Asus Zenfone 5 is the camera quality. Uh, if you look at the pictures they're more for snapshots than for real uh, yeah, real pictures for real photography. The colors are, yeah, gray. Everything looks like it's dark and gray and the sunshine. The colors are not as in nature. It's a little bit unsharp if you if you zoom in, and um, so the camera is not the best. It has on the back it has eight megapixels and the front two megapixels and the single flash on the back which is the flash is good it's yeah quite bright uh, does it its job well in automatic mode it's bad but if you use night mode then there's a little bit more light you can see what you wanted to what, what you wanted to show what picture you wanted to shoot but it's not really good but there's one more um, camera mode that's called low light and uh, with that you get really much light out of the scene uh, without flash or th or something else. The problem is uh, that it's yeah really unsharp but it's good if you have low light and you want to show something uh, to someone else and um, talking about videos they are yeah like the pictures the colors are not um, really detailed not um, not that bright everything's a little bit gray and if you move fast then it blurs a little bit too and um, the last but not least the selfie cam the quality is okay but the problem is it has only two megapixels and so if you want to watch the take a look at the picture on the PC or television then it's um, yeah too low uh, the, the resolution of the camera. All in all the camera is uh, maybe one of the yeah, versus points on the Asus Zenfone and it's good enough for snapshots but not for real picture taking for example on vacation. The next point of, of the Asus Zenfone um, is the battery. Um, the battery is uh, besides the camera the worst thing with the Asus Zenfone. It has uh, 2000 um, 110 million pair hours but they are not enough if we take a look here it's only two hours but I used it the whole day and at 3 p.m. the battery was empty then I charged it and now since two hours and uh, yeah it's going down so because this looks like it's high but uh, it's only since 3 p.m. and now it's half past seven. Um, the problem is it's dual sim, it takes much energy and the, the big screen takes much energy and maybe it's not that good optimized but I think it is because they even have an own app for for energy optimizing but always if you get home um, after work maybe at 6 p.m. or something then you normally need a charger for dinner otherwise uh, you can't use your phone any longer that's really sad because you don't want to yeah look always oh no I can't use my phone now I can't play this game because the battery will be empty so that's the worst thing and you can't even cha change the battery so you have to, to use the one that's inside and you can't go out and say no I only have to change, change the battery. Maybe uh, yeah, Asus should have um, built in a bigger battery for even a few more bucks because battery is something that's really important on a phone. So this was the review of the Asus Zenfone 5 and here comes my conclusion about the device. It was the first phone I used with an uh, Intel chip and I was really yeah, surprised of the good performance. It's really fast, really fluent, the system works uh, without any problems and uh, you don't have to wait for it which is one of the 
uh, most important things of using um, a phone. The Asus Zen phone even looks good. It's maybe it's a bit, bit, yeah, huge <laughs> for some people, but um, it looks nice here. This back white, the front, and one of the yeah most amazing things of it is the display. It this um, coating, which makes it unaffected for fingertips to make this display dirty and uh, you can wipe them off very easily. Uh, I like this feature most on this device I have to say. And um, the screen also has a good resolution, good colors. Um, yeah, it's the best thing of the device. The worst thing is the battery sadly. Um, it lasts not long enough to live about the whole day. You have to charge it after dinner if you want to go out later. And um, yeah, battery is anyhow the most important thing on the device. You don't have to say, uh, I can't use my smart, uh, my phone now because the battery is empty. And so I recommend this phone to those who don't need a phone, um, yeah, a phone um, often during working day because they have um, yeah, <laughs> enough to work and no time for playing or don't need to play games and be on Facebook constantly. I just want the fast, stable and nice looking uh, yeah, handset that's working always if they need it. And for them this is a really good device. Especially if you look on the price. Our sponsor electrofame.com um, offers this as a sand phone for about 166 bucks which is um, really not that much. $166 for a phone with 5 inch display, 720p, um, 2 gigs of RAM, Intel Atom CPU. It's a really good deal and um, besides the battery there's nothing really bad. So I hope you liked this review. Thank you for your attention and take care.